Hello, everyone. Um, today you were expecting here to see our founder and CEO, Mr. Farzad Vazjihi. But unfortunately, he didn't manage to come, so I'm trying to cover his back. I, I hope I won't let him down. The topic of my presentation is um, global penetration and adoption of cryptocurrencies. How can we affect it? How we can uh, bring personal impact on it? Uh, I will try to wrap up all this, let's say, academic information in some spicy data about our company and products. So let's see what it will be. We are Aran Group's gro broker, uh, trading firm for individuals. Uh, since uh, our establishment in, in 2020, we were experiencing pre pretty exponential growth. And uh, so far, we were uh, recognized by Forex Expert Dubai as the fastest growing broker in MENA uh, last year. And uh, we were recognized as retail broker of the year in MENA also by Pan Finance magazine. Uh, we position ourselves as a one-stop shop broker for traders. Uh, we have all uh, kind of services any trader could need. So let's go further. Uh, key topic, total market cap. Today we are at uh, 1.2 trillion uh, United States dollar market cap of crypt cryptocurrencies. Of course, Bitcoin is driving this uh, growth, but uh, the one important thing I want to speak about are stable coins. Stable coins has uh, just as low as 10% of cryptocurrencies uh, share. Uh, and Bitcoin has uh, 45%, if I'm correct. So stable coins are um, uh, the bridge between volatile cryptocurrencies and uh, real stable wars. How can we affect it? Uh, how can we increase adoption of cryptocurrencies? Uh, let's see on the map. Uh, as you see, Vietnam is one of the leaders among uh, heavily users of cryptocurrencies. Also, please uh, look at India. We'll speak about it later. Uh, have some interesting information about it. So also in Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, uh, uh, the drivers of the adoption of cryptocurrencies in South America is Brazil, Argentina, and Venezuela, because uh, cryptocurrencies uh, help users to save their funds during economic instability. Especially, it is uh, mm, we can say such uh, about Venezuela. Uh, why understanding adoption of cryptocurrencies is important. First of all, we for traders, investors. Uh, it is import, in, important to identify opportunities uh, where you can get potential growth or loss, maybe, to avoid any possible risks. Uh, understanding of uh, global regulations, if it is not, but maybe uh, local regulations. So, and of course, staying informed, you are all here, is also very important. Uh, we are, as a brokerage company, uh, we are mainly have been focused on the MENA region. Uh, and I hope in the nearest year, maybe a year and a half or two, uh, we will increase our presence in Africa and Asia also. So far, we have uh, more than 100 employees. All, all of them are working uh, remotely, globally, from uh, Canada to Turkey, Iran, I hope we will increase our geography here also. Speaking about our services, I won't take too much time about it. If you want to know more, you can visit our booth. And my colleagues or me will let you know everything you want about it. Social trading, what is interesting about it for, about it for traders that um, do not have enough time or experience uh, to earn enough money on trading, they can use this service and get some kind of passive income. And for experienced traders, we offer prop service uh, when we are increase their leverages, uh, leverages or giving some additional funds for trading that would also affect uh, their financial growth. A uh, couple words about our assets. Of course, cryptocurrencies, uh, I can say hundreds, yes? 
forex, of course, commodities, metals, everything as usual. So, global adoption. Today, uh, about 420 million people are using cryptocurrencies every day. And it is expected to reach 1 uh, billion people by 2027. And uh, the penetration rate by the end of this year will be about 9% how all we can affect it, the question I will answer today. I will try to answer today. Uh, what these numbers could tell to us? For example, Visa and MasterCard together uh, cover 6 billion users. 6 billion users. It is more than 75% of global populations. And if we are looking at these numbers, we see that cryptocurrencies are as low as lower than 10 percent so the target is to increase the penetration let's move uh, uh, let's look at the map of course asia is one of the drivers africa south america and north america key drivers of increasing their global adoptions let's look closer at uh, vietnam it was a couple weeks ago it was one of the drivers but United Arab Emirates have jumped at the first place. Um, I have some ideas why it happened, but uh, it's not the topic of the presentation. All the data was gathered from AAA uh, a resource. Uh, please also look at India with 7% of penetration among other countries. And uh, let's speak about India. It's pretty interesting. As a marketing manager, uh, I've always, uh, um, let's say, attract third parties, contractors, freelancers to do some projects for us. And several months ago, I had a project uh, for translation from in English to Hindi. And uh, the worth of the project was about uh, average monthly salary in Mumbai, India. Um, it's pretty good, not uh, for two days of work. So. Uh, I've set a target for myself to find a translator that will accept cryptocurrencies. So, uh, I've been speaking with P50 persons, and 51st agreed to accept cryptocurrencies after my generous, let's say, instructions how to do it. More of that, I offered 50% prepayment for the project. And even more, two of the translators told me that I'm pushing them to break the law by convincing them to accept cryptocurrencies because it is illegal in India. Yes, I say it's legal in India. In Russia, the situation is a little bit better. Uh, if we look at web designers, also had a project for a um, landing page. One from 15 web designers uh, decided agreed to accept cryptocurrency. Not bad. If we speak about Turkey, uh, I had conversation with about three or four constructors that were ready to build our booth, and uh, just one of them was happy to accept cryptocurrencies. By the way, uh, who of you paid with cryptocurrencies for the tickets to this event? Please raise your hands. One. So nobody, yes, of course. But I believe this person is a um, sponsor of the event because for general attendees, there is no opportunity to pay for the tickets, only uh, via card. What is going on, guys? Where we are? So, uh, as a company, as a brokerage company, we are trying to increase adoption of cryptocurrencies. It gives much more opportunities to lower the fees of transactions uh, for cashing in or cashing out. And we are looking for partners that are ready to spread the word about our company, that are ready to join our introducing broker program. Uh, from our side, we are ready to provide transparent conditions, uh, marketing support, and uh, generous rebates. Uh, if you are interested in it, please visit our booth. My colleagues will be happy to share with you all the details. So, coming to conclusion, how can all of us you, 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 maybe me also, try to increase cryptocurrency adoption globally. Uh, 
first of all, let's stay informed. You are here. Great. I'm happy. I hope you are also happy. Let's keep informed our nearest surroundings, relatives, friends. If you want to send a present to your daughter, son, cousin, nephew, please do it via crypto. Uh, and the last but not least, try to avoid traditional methods of payments. Use cryptocurrencies instead. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, welcome to our booth. I will be happy to answer all of them. Thank you.